we are back thanks for clicking on the link welcome to good energy enjoy the content and everyone have a blessed day And we are back and we head right to the action in Canada, guys. The fans have shown up. Canada's not too far, right over the border, and they have made the journey to support their players. That's right. Layla Fernandez yesterday, Felix Elisame, and they were cheering very loud for Felix. He just fell a little bit short. And even Bianca Endershu, who won this tournament in 2019, took a mental leave. Hopefully she'll be back. Layla Fernandez is here and her biggest supporter is here. That's right. We all seen him cheering loud and clear at the U.S. Open, helping her get through that tough seating to the championship round where she lost to Emma Raducanu. But nonetheless, tonight she's facing Shelby Rogers, a woman she has never beat. That's right. Shelby Rogers owns the head-to-head to love. And we've seen Actually, the last time they played, Shelby Rogers got the best of Layla Fernandez right here at the BNP Pariba Open. Shelby Rogers, the daughter of the late great tight end for the 49ers, uh, and that's correct. Shelby Rogers won a three setter here last year. Layla Fernandez won the first set 6 2. Rogers won the second set 6 1. And they went to a tie break 7 4. Rogers took that. And before that, they also played in 2020 in Lexington, where Rogers got a straight set victory. But hey, guys, this was my lock of the day, as well as a couple of matches yesterday. The dart win over. Kai Kanepi, that's one I had as a 4-1 to underdog. And uh, Kvitova, I had her over Sasnovic. And I also had uh, Sersu. But the upsets, they keep coming, guys. There's a lot of ladies that have been playing hard and working hard. And they don't want to go home just yet. So the superstars are being eliminated one by one. And that con today lost earlier. But nonetheless, this is the main event. Let's get back to this match here. Shelby Rogers owns the head-to-head to love. But the reality here is Shelby Rogers is not having a good year. That's correct. Shelby Rogers is only 2-4 and four on the year coming into this tournament. And the reality here is... She is only producing about two aces per game. She's winning 69% of her service games, which is just under the 70% mark where I'd like to see players at. But her return games one is only 22%. Now she's facing an in-game Layla Fernandez. And we all know Layla Fernandez, her model is to believe. She wears the pendant around her neck, always believes. She's always the smallest cat in the fight, but she never gives up. And she just hangs on until things go her way. But the reason Shelby's had success against Layla Fernandez, Layla Fernandez, her serve. She's a lefty, but her serve puts her very off balance. And a lot of the opponents that have very strong backhands, like a Shelby Rogers, Uh, they've been able to exploit that in the past. Uh, But the reality here is if these two ladies played 10 times, I'd pick Layla Fernandez to win at least eight of them. Shelby Rogers has won the first two. I'd probably take Layla to win the next eight because Layla is very athletic. She's very fit. And this can give someone like Shelby Rogers problems, who I say all the time, there's nothing really special about Shelby Rogers. She does have a strong backhand, but her serve is not that amazing. Her forehand's not that amazing. And when she's playing these younger fit players like Layla Fernandez, they can really make her work. They can really stretch the court. Uh, They can serve wide. And Shelby has two left feet sometimes. But you definitely don't want to count Shelby Rogers out. She has beat Layla Fernandez before. But nonetheless, Layla Fernandez, uh, she she does make mistakes. So she can let opponents back into these matches. Layla Fernandez is a three-set player. And much of that is due to her inconsistencies. But her fight, her will, her athletic ability, her determination keeps her in these matches. Look how wide she's stretching the court out with Shelby Rogers. I do expect Shelby Rogers to make some adjustments in the second set. Layla Fernandez is running away here with the first set. It's getting pretty ugly but Layla Fernandez and her left serve her athletic ability creates a lot of problems for the ladies on tour and um, nonetheless when you factor in the 
the the statistics here where Shelby Rogers is she's just not doing well on their return games and her service game has not been the best. Layla Fernandez is winning 80% of her service games and the reality here is she's not putting up a ton of aces but she's winning matches and she's playing quality opponents. Uh, we saw her capture her second title back to back in Mexico and an Indian Wells title would be huge here. I did at the start of this tournament let everyone know Layla Fernandez can beat any of these ladies. Layla Fernandez can win this tournament. And that Conteve, which is one of my strong picks, she's out. Who's going to win it? Layla Fernandez? Uh, is it going to be Marie Sacri? Will she finally get her first, you know, huge championship under her belt? The reality here is it's wide open now. There's a lot of ladies that want next, and they been working really hard how about dark with that huge win over kai kanepi that was an unbelievable win how about uh seville with the huge win over elise mertens elise mertens i thought that's a match she had won but she blew it nonetheless let's get back to the indian wells here the main event looks like we might be headed to three sets comment below smash the like button smash the subscribe button tell me who's gonna win this match who's gonna win the tournament this is good energy guys Thank you.